You asked, we delivered. In today's video, we'll dive into all the juicy details of Deadpool 3, from the cast and the villains, to the highly anticipated meetup with Mobius, and the possibility of Ben Affleck's Daredevil making a comeback. Plus, we'll spill the beans on which cast members are returning, the R-rated certification, the production updates, and even the release date and trailer info. It's all here, so buckle up for the wildest Marvel ride yet. After the credits roll in Deadpool 2, Deadpool uses Cable's time machine to change the course of various events that have affected him deeply in the past. He first visits the past to prevent the death of Deadpool's love interest, Vanessa. Secondly, he goes back in time to the events of X-Men Origins, Wolverine, to kill the unmasked and reviled version of himself, who, as you all know, was called Weapon 11. In what is a highly comical scene, he shoots his old X-Men version dead, retconning his appearance. Speaking of comical scenes, he also kills a certain Ryan Reynolds who is about to sign the Green Lantern contract, signifying the film was a mistake by the actor. But the after credit scene for Deadpool 2 is not only a great example of Deadpool's signature brand of irreverent humor, poking fun at previous blunders in the X-Men film series, but it also sets the tone for Deadpool 3. Basically, since Deadpool has messed with time, it has set a completely new timeline, which will result in villains like Magneto coming into the mix. The sequel, it seems, is about to take all that made Deadpool 2 so good and turn it up a notch. Speaking of action, what with all other Marvel superheroes exploring the multiverse, there's no way Deadpool, the merc with a mouth, is going to be left out. In the upcoming Deadpool 3 movie, our guy Wade Wilson will be going on some wild adventures through the multiverse, thanks to Cable's modified teleportation device. There's the word on the street, or rather on 4chan and Reddit, that Deadpool gets in trouble with the TVA for messing around with time. Remember the post credit scene in Deadpool 2? Our cool protagonist went back in time and took out the versions of himself from X-Men Origins, Wolverine, and even Ryan Reynolds before he took on the Green Lantern movie. Well, these time disruptions created an alternate timeline where Magneto and his gang managed to kill the Avengers and take over the world. So now as punishment, Deadpool's gotta go to that messed up timeline and take out those mutants. Can you imagine? It's gonna be one crazy mission. Oh, and get this, in a video posted on YouTube by Ryan Reynolds himself, he and Hugh Jackman make it clear that Jackman's appearance in Deadpool 3 won't mess with the timeline of Logan. Cause you know, Logan happens in 2029, while the events of Deadpool 3 are in the X-Men timeline. So make of that what you will. As for the cast, Ryan Reynolds will still be rocking the role of our favorite wisecracking, fourth wall breaking anti-hero. And of course, the big news, Hugh Jackman will be donning those iconic claws as Wolverine for what could be his final time. Oh, and don't worry, lots of familiar faces are coming back too. Leslie Uggams returns as Blind Al, the roommate and best friend of Wade Wilson, while Karan Sani is back as the soft-spoken Dopender, the lovable taxi driver. Morena Bakarin will reprise her role as Vanessa, Wade's fiance, who got saved from death through some time travel shenanigans. In the comics, Vanessa has some pretty cool powers as copycat from her X-Force days. Who knows, maybe we'll see a bit more of that in the new movie, thanks to the time travel twist. Stefan Kapichik is also back as the virtuous X-Man Colossus, and Rob Delaney returns as Peter, the regular dude turned X-Force member. Brianna Hildebrand and Shioli Kutsuna will join the party again as Negasonic Teenage Warhead and Yukio, respectively bringing even more laughs and ass-kicking. And here's a surprise for you. Jennifer Garner is set to reprise her role as Elektra after two decades since Daredevil. And hey, speaking of surprises, despite the rumors, Taylor Swift won't be joining the cast. Yeah, I know, I really wanted to see her in the movie too. But hey, Matthew McFadden from Succession is also joining the sequel, even if they're keeping their role a secret for now. As for Cable, we're not sure if Josh Brolin will be reprising the role. But sadly, Zazie Beats won't be back as Domino. And remember Weasel? TJ Miller won't be making a comeback this time around either. On the bright side though, there's some buzz about Owen Wilson and Tara Strong returning as their Loki characters, Mobius and Miss Minutes. And who doesn't love Patrick Stewart and Ian McKellen as Professor X and Magneto? Fingers crossed they'll show up too. Back in May, we got wind that James Marsden's Cyclops, Famke Jensen's Jean Grey, and Holly Berry Storm will be making appearances, making it sound like a mutant version of Spider-Man No Way Home. Boy, I hope these rumors are true, because as someone who really loved those X-Men movies, seeing those stars finally debut in the MCU is gonna be something to behold. If you thought that was all, allow me to pull back the curtain on the elephants in the room. According to Twitter user, 
at the comics kit. None other than Ben frickin' Affleck was spotted on the set of Deadpool 3 during its principal photography in England last month. Though there's no official word on who he's playing, fans are going wild speculating that he could be reprising his role as Matt Murdock, aka Daredevil, from the 2003 Daredevil movie. It seems likely, but we don't have any concrete information to confirm it just yet. Now let's talk about the villain, Emma Corrin. Though little is known about what character they're going to play, Marvel has had their eye on Corrin since the holidays. But with their busy schedule as an Emmy nominee, it took some effort to work things out. But guess what? All arrangements were settled just recently, and Corrin is officially on board. There's been a lot of talk and theories floating around about who Corrin might be playing in the new movie, especially since Logan is making a comeback. One popular theory suggests that Corrin could be taking on the role of Lady Deathstrike. You know that character with a serious grudge against Wolverine? It totally makes sense, considering Lady Deathstrike has a history of clashing with Wolverine and even the Merc with a Mouth, as well as being a famous member of the X-Men. But hold up, there's another name in the mix too, Spiral. But that is more unlikelier of the two. And here's where things get really interesting. Many fans are secretly hoping that Corrin is actually playing Death itself. Yup, that's right, the actual personification of Death. In the comics, Death has a strong connection with Deadpool, so it could open up some fascinating storylines in the MCU. Believe it or not, fans have been wanting to see Death in the Avengers for quite some time. But you know how it goes, the timing just didn't work out back when Avengers Endgame was released, all due to the Disney-Fox merger. But now with Logan back in the game, and new possibilities on the horizon, it could be the perfect moment to finally introduce Death to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now one of the biggest reasons people are so invested in the Deadpool 3 hype is the inevitable showdown between Deadpool and Wolverine. Way before the Marvel Cinematic Universe was even a thing, Fox's X-Men franchise was all about awesome mutants, bringing in a bunch of iconic Marvel characters to the big screen. They started with some powerful X-Men team movies, and later shifted gears to give us a solo origin story for Hugh Jackman's Wolverine. Now that movie X-Men Origins Wolverine had its fair share of issues, wonky CGI and some questionable character decisions, to be exact, but it did introduce us to some new and iconic characters, like Wade Wilson, who began as a katana-wielding fighter, but later turned into that lovable, wisecracking Deadpool we all know and adore. One of the most anticipated moments was a huge showdown between Deadpool and Wolverine, but sadly it didn't live up to its potential due to some major characterization problems. Even though Wolverine got a couple more solo movies, we never got to see Jackman's Wolverine and Reynolds' Deadpool share the screen again in the X-Men franchise. But there is now hope with Deadpool 3 on its way, and recent set photos confirm that Wolverine and Deadpool are going to throw down at some point in the film. However, there's no official confirmation as to why they'll duke it out. But as with all MCU movies these days, it looks like they're diving headfirst into the multiverse, bringing in characters from entirely different universes and timelines, separate from the primary MCU. Yeah, that's right, Deadpool and Wolverine are from their own special corners of the Marvel Universe. And get this, Hugh Jackman's coming back as Wolverine, even after the character's supposed death in Logan. It's like Wade Wilson, aka Deadpool, is up to some serious multiversal shenanigans. You can't help but wonder if he's trying to weasel his way into the MCU for the long haul. This whole mission seems like it's going to be super meta, with tons of references to Disney's takeover of 20th Century Fox and the X-Men franchise. Speaking of multiverse mayhem, here's where things get even more interesting. There's a buzz about Agent Mobius, you know, the guy from Loki, playing a role in Deadpool 3. It totally makes sense, since Mobius would be an in-universe response to whatever Deadpool's got planned. And guess what? Tara Strong's TVA mascot, Miss Minutes, will be there too, hinting that Mobius won't be flying solo. It seems like Deadpool and Wolverine will be going up against the whole TVA. Remember, that's the Time Variance Authority, the folks who keep the timeline in check. Picture this, Deadpool and Wolverine meeting Mobius and the TVA as some of their first connections to the MCU. How crazy cool would that be? It's not just about the entertainment value of having Hugh Jackman and our favorite Merc with a Mouth, Wilson, together in the same movie. There's some serious narrative sense to it too. Bob Iger, the former CEO of the Walt Disney Company, and Kevin Feige, the big boss at Marvel Studios, have made it clear that Deadpool 3 is going to keep things real and true to its predecessors. That means we can expect some serious R-rated action, with all the heavier violence and harsh language we've come to love from the Merc with a Mouth. 
The director for the film is Sean Levy, who's taking over from David Leach. Leach couldn't return for the third installment due to scheduling conflicts. While it's Levy's first time directing a Deadpool movie, he's no stranger to working with the superhero star. Ryan Reynolds and Levy previously teamed up for two other projects, 20th Century's Free Guy and Netflix's The Atom Project. So Deadpool 3 will be the third time these talented folks join forces. Talk about a hat trick! As for the writing, after Wendy Molino and Lizzie Molino Logolins exit from the film, the script is now in the hands of Rhett Reese and Paul Warnick. These two writers have credits on the first two Deadpool movies, so they know the character and the tone like the back of their hands. With Levy at the helm and Reese and Warnick penning the script, we can expect some awesome things from Deadpool 3. There's been a bit of a hiccup with the production of Deadpool 3. The film we've all been eagerly waiting for has hit a pause button due to the ongoing sag after strike. This strike involves actors and screenwriters demanding fairer pay and improved working conditions. And let me tell you, Deadpool 3 is not the only one feeling the impact. It's one of the major titles caught up in this labor dispute. It's actually a pretty big deal because this is one of the first times that a major production like Deadpool 3 has been affected by a strike. Let's hope they can work things out and get back to bringing us the Merc with the Mouth and Wolverine on the big screen soon. In terms of the release date for Deadpool 3, it's currently set to hit the screens on May 3rd, 2024. But hang on a sec, there might be a small hitch with that date due to some recent Hollywood strikes, so it's best to keep an eye out for any updates just in case. Originally, they had planned to release it on September 6th and then on November 8th, but Marvel went ahead and shuffled around a bunch of release dates, including Deadpool 3. Looks like this movie will be likely one of the first in Phase 6 of the MCU, which is pretty cool. As of now, there's no official trailer or teaser footage out yet. Bummer, I know. But hey, don't worry, we do have some first look images from the set, so you can get a sneak peek at Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman in action. So how excited are you for Deadpool 3? Let me know in the comments, and as always, don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying the uploads. Until next time, this is goodbye.